Well, uh, we're gearing up for trade. It's 8.55 to 10 minutes to go to pre-open trade posts, which, of course, uh, will also track the currency markets. Amit and Amar Singh both join with their top trade calls. Uh, right. Uh, and uh, let me now head across to Amar Singh again uh, from Angel Broking. Amar, uh, how are the markets looking? Yesterday, again, we saw the lower drift. Nifty again breaking uh, the day before yesterday's low here. And then again, we started seeing some seesaw trade. Finally, we closed towards the day's low. Today, Asia Qs are not looking that great. Uh, if we open lower, is there a time to actually short or actually can somebody buy on dips or is completely a no trade zone here? Uh, what I would say is that uh, uh, Nifty definitely it uh, retains the uh, uh, bullish momentum. But yes, what we are witnessing is uh, two things. One is profit booking and also, as you rightly put it, the Asian markets also what we are seeing the trend for today. Somewhere there is some uh, selling pressure in the Asian markets. Uh, but still, uh, if you look at uh, uh, the charts of Nifty, uh, technically, uh, I would say that uh, six, uh, 600, 620, that's a very strong support zone for Nifty. So ideally around anywhere around 620, 630, uh, if it, because uh, once after the opening, let the market consolidate for at least uh, 15, 20 minutes. That gives, a, that gives a clue as to which way the market is headed. So those were on the short side, they would also be covering some of the shorts and those who would want to trade from the long side, that would be a very good level to trade because they would uh, have a good risk reward ratio. Uh, ideally, so any stop loss below uh, 5, 10,580, that could be a good stop loss uh, and uh, buying around uh, 10,620, 30, if that level is there. So I w and on the upside, yes, again, I would say 10,700 levels initially to book profit because what we're seeing is that uh, earlier, Nifty was uh, meeting with stiff resistance, uh, trying to breach the 10,620, 10,640 zone. So that being taken out, the market will respect that level. Ideally, it should respect that level. Uh, and on the higher side, yes, again, at 10,780, 10,800, those are levels are such wherein uh, uh, the, uh, the index would witness uh, selling pressure. And also, if you look at across the, uh, I would say, sectoral indices, uh, we see uh, strength in the in the banking index. If you see, if you look at the IT space, that's the the automobile sector. The metal space is somewhere we are witnessing a lot of uh, selling pressure. So overall, I would say still it's uh, positive. So till the time it really doesn't close uh, decisively below the 10,580, 10,600 mark, I would say any dip should be used as a buying opportunity. But yes, it's a trader's market right now. Right. Uh, that's the woman. Uh, first of all, what stocks again you'd be liking today? But then. Uh, secondly, my question would be, yesterday there was good buying momentum in a couple of NBSEs here, whether it's, <coughs> um, we're talking about Manapuram Finance, Equitas, l and Finance results were also good, so ideally that stock should move higher. So NBFC momentum was quite visible here, so anything which you like in NBFCs and apart from that, any other calls again uh, which you're liking right now? Uh, I would say uh, among the NBFCs, uh, uh, looking at the uh, NBFCs, I would say Equitas definitely is uh, is uh, is one stock which one can uh, consider because what we are witnessing in Equitas is that uh, it did make a bottom somewhere around 145 odd levels and then uh, it has uh, rallied significantly from there. And uh, technically, if I look at the stock, uh, the stock uh, continues to uh, remain strong. And uh, so any pullback, ideally any pullback towards 160, uh, 160, 162, that can be a very good uh, buying level uh, for Equitas. And uh, with a stop loss below 150, the target uh, on the upside could be as high as 180 to 185. Uh, so that's one stock because technically it's very strong, I would say, on the short term as well as the long term. And it seems to, um, I would say, uh, completely uh, defy what we are witnessing in our uh, overall uh, markets. So that's one stock one can look at from the NBFC space. Uh, among the other stocks I would recommend, one is HDFC, because HDFC is also, if you look at it technically on the charts, uh, it continues to display uh, very strong uh, uh, strength. The strength is very strong, and uh, in spite of it trading higher of in excess of 1900, any pullback towards 1890, 1895, those levels can be a very good buying opportunity for HDFC with a stop loss of uh, 1840 on the downside and a target of uh, 1997 on the upside. So that's one stock, and uh, apart from that, uh, there's another stock from the metal space that is Tata Steel. Uh, what we're seeing in Tata Steel is that uh, there is now some consolidation happening, and uh, the stock uh, did form a very strong base around 550, 560 odd levels. Uh, so uh, uh, it did witness a sharp correction earlier along with the other uh, metal stocks, but it seems to have formed a base. So any pullback towards 580, 585, uh, 
I would say 580, that could be a very good level to buy with a stop loss uh, below 550 and a target of 620, 25 on the upside. Uh, because once it uh, trades uh, above uh, the 600 mark, which would act as a short-term resistance level, it's uh, it's stated to trade higher uh, by uh, gaining almost 5 to 6 uh, percent. So uh, Tata Steel is another stock. And the third one I would recommend is uh, ITC. I've been talking about it uh, from almost two, uh, 250, 260 levels, and this stock continues to hold firm. And uh, technically, it's strong on the charts. If I look at any time frame, it's very strong. So any dip should be a buying opportunity. We witness a correction in the markets. Then also, we should look at ITC as a buying opportunity. So, so somewhere around 280, 283, that can be a very good level to buy with a stop loss of 277 and a target of 297 in the short term. Right, those are the calls there. Amit, uh, Amar, coming to you, coming back, uh, the pre open rates are showing that uh, perhaps we are seeing some good trends in the NBFCs. Uh, so, and we just discussed uh, uh, that also again. Uh, anything perhaps uh, which uh, you want to pick up, in particular LD Finance, if the stock is up 3% in the opening year, uh, is that uh, going to open uh, some sort of uh, higher levels for the stock here? Yeah, uh, looking at uh, LNT Finance, it's uh, I would say uh, if I look at it technically, I would say it seems that uh, on the upside uh, towards 175, 180 uh, levels, that's going to act as a resistance uh, for LNT Finance. I'm looking at the long-term charts, and I'm saying on the on the short term and the medium term trend that remains positive. So that clearly reflects that uh, any dip should be used as a buying opportunity in LNT Finance as well. Uh, because it did consolidate and to, uh, and find support around 160 odd levels or so, so it, I would say that it, it's uh, uh, it would be range bound uh, 160 to 180. Uh, if you look at OG1, I would say that's uh, technically I would say stronger uh, as compared to LNT uh, Finance. So, but it's trading higher. So, and it had a breakout also above uh, 400 odd levels or so. Currently, it's around 4. It was trading uh, at 422, 423. So. So that's one stock one can look at any pullback can be used as a buying opportunity. But for LNT Finance, I would say one needs to watch out for the 178, 180 level uh, on the upside as, as crucial resistance. Otherwise, it's going to trade range bound between 160 and 180. Well, that's a word coming on NBSCs again if you want to trade any of those stocks here. Amar, uh, would you be buying any of these mid-cap IT stocks for a trading, pull, uh, trading bounce back? Uh, I would say that um, uh, I was looking at Mind Tree, and uh, Mind Tree definitely uh, appears to be very strong. In spite, and if you look at the correction also, which it has witnessed, that's uh, very minimal. Uh, looking at from where it's bounced back, it's more than doubled the last uh, uh, last I would say eight uh, eight months or so. So clearly reflecting that the uptrend uh, remains intact for some of these stocks. And Mind Tree, uh, I would say, even from the short term perspective as well as the long term perspective. The stock is uh, very strong. Currently, it's around 1,015, 14 odd levels. Uh, so, ideally, any pullback towards uh, 980, 970, that can be a very good buying opportunity for a mine tree. Because, and uh, the stop loss can be below 950. And the target can be in the region of uh, 1,080 uh, to 1,090 on the upside. So, yes, any dip should be used as a buying opportunity till the time we don't see a change in trend. All right. Amar, have you identified anything in the last 5 to 10 minutes of market opening, any good long or short trades? Uh, I would say that uh, uh, one can look at Sun Pharma because uh, the way Sun Pharma technically is looking on the charts, it clearly reflects that the downside uh, it has from the bottom and there is some very strong support zone uh, coming in at around 500 odd levels or so. So any pullback towards uh, 510 uh, that can be used as a buying opportunity. Uh, with a stop loss uh, below 490 and a target of uh, 545 to 547 in the short term. So that's one stock one can look at. In fact, uh, Sanjeev, uh, Sun Pharma is a stock that... Uh, Amar, how are you playing some of these textile names? So Arvind, the Bombay Dying, Raymond, this had become a trader favorite uh, all through the April series. And uh, Arvind, of course, is not playing too badly. It's managing to hold up despite the rest of the market giving up steam. Um, I would say that um, looking at uh, Arvind, if I'm looking at it uh, on the technically on the charts, it's uh, really not doing much. If I'm looking at it from a long-term perspective, and even from a, a short-term perspective, I would say it's more uh, range-bound because uh, on the downside, somewhere in the region of 370, 380, that's uh, acting as a very strong support zone. Whereas on the upside, it's unable to take out the uh, 430, uh, 440 
So I would say that it's more of a consolidation and uh, more or less, I would say, uh, rather touch, uh, uh, rather avoid it because until the time it really doesn't sustain above 425, 430 odd levels, it's likely to witness selling pressure. But yes, it, it is trading in a range. So those who want to buy around support and resistance levels and sell around the resistance level, that's good for them. Sanjeev, uh, Ambuja Cements comes up. Amar, uh, why don't you go first? Uh, any trades you want to leave us with first 20 minutes of trade? Uh, I would say that uh, one can look at uh, a walk hard uh, from the pharma space. Uh, it is uh, currently trading around 802 watt levels. Uh, it opened higher, but it's trading lower. So any pullback towards uh, uh, 785, uh, uh, 790, that can be used as a, as a buying opportunity with a stop loss below 770 and a target of 840 on the upside from a short term uh, trading perspective. Amit, what? Thanks for that, Amar. Amit and Sanjeev, good talking to all of you this morning. The market's uh, typically going through a Friday. It's a sense of tiredness after a very strong rally that the index has seen at the day's low point. Now, clearly, what the ESG is responding to, that's exactly where we've reached on the, on the Nifty itself.